I have a little bit of oat milk as well as a tiny bit of maple syrup in here for a little bit of sweetness. So good. But anyway, let's just get into this video. If you're new here, I'm Marcella and I am a software engineer based in Los Angeles, California. I thought I'd film a whole week in my life. I've done a few day in my life before, but I feel like they're not fully representative of every single day. And I thought it'd be interesting to show you a few days in my life and you can get a taste of what it's like being a software engineer. Today is Monday, February 1st, and it's about 11.40 a.m. right now. This morning I didn't record because I had a busy morning. I woke up and I had a 9.30 a.m. meeting and then a 10.30 a.m day as you'll see I have my team stand up got out of that I did some work after and now it's 11:42, and you'll be joining me for the rest of the day so let's just get going pretty cloudy but the sun is like trying to peek through so it creates a beautiful ambiance digging it it's not too hot not too cold loving it so right now I'm basically just deploying um, I got a lot of stuff ready at the end of last week on Friday and we don't do releases on Friday just because we don't want something to go wrong over the weekend and us not be there so I got everything ready on Friday and right now I'm just deploying some of that stuff and after we deploy you want to monitor it to make sure the task or the API or whatever I'm deploying is behaving properly that's pretty self-explanatory so that's what I'm doing right now and then in about 30 minutes at 2 p.m. I have a meeting taking a snack break I made my famous banana cereal and yogurt bowl and I am having this because 6 15 I have a workout class to where the downtown LA police department keeps their helicopters. So that's a common noise. This guy was looking so beautiful from my little small, and now there's an airplane. But yeah, this guy was looking so beautiful from the little sliver of sky I have in my bedroom. So I'll let you guys enjoy it. You gotta put your past behind you. Look kid, bad things happen and you can't do anything about it, right? Wrong. When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. That's not what I was told. And maybe you need a new lesson. Repeat after me. Hakuna Matata. What? Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. The Hollywood sign is like over there through those buildings. When we're on the other roof, you can see it, but not from here. Now it's downtown LA. Wow. started she was like it's gonna be an all cardio workout I knew it was over for me at that moment so that really picked my butt 
I'm gonna have a protein bar. Not sponsored. I know everyone's sponsored by Built Bars nowadays, but these ones are the only ones that don't taste fake to me, so. Mm. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna make dinner. And then I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day. It's now Tuesday, about 9.30ish, so I'm gonna make some coffee and then get to work. For today's agenda, I'm just gonna wrap up some of the work that I have ongoing because today we have our sprint planning, which is like a two week work period where you get a set of tickets and you have to get them done. So on Tuesdays, we end our sprint. So I wanna get as many of my tickets closed out as possible. It's always so satisfying to see like the empty to-do column. So let's make some coffee though, I'm so tired. I made my iced coffee with this protein shake. I hadn't tried these before, so this is my first time. I'm gonna try. I love the flavor of this, to be honest. The aftertaste is that very stevia artificial sweetener taste, and I don't know if I like that. to change because I got stains on my shirt and if you hear that in the background I started some laundry I think this is growing on me it's like a little bit of a caramel macchiato I didn't like it initially but it's really growing on me so outfit check before I head out got the all black mask black top because I spill everything, black pants, and I even got the black boots. Heading out for my walk. Hitting that mid-afternoon slump. I just got out of my meeting. The laptop is still on my desk where we did our planning for the next two weeks and now I have a new workload, which is nice. I'm gonna get started on that, but I think I might take a quick break and fold my laundry. The load that I did this morning because I got coffee on my shirt. actually having a little bit of a late start to my day today. It's around 10.05 right now and I need to get started with work, but I just wanted to check in because I didn't film that much yesterday. I think I showed you guys a little bit of me at the pottery studio last night. That was so much fun. Didn't do much after, just had dinner and hung out and then went to sleep. Anyway, today I'm just having a regular day at work. I have a couple meetings at work today, but nothing too crazy. Gotta spend most of my day getting a bulk of my work done. Princess Polly, biker shorts from I don't know where, but I got white shoes this time.
$1.1 billion in free cash flow, representing 50% growth from fourth quarter last year. We've just completed the strongest year in our history, achieving record growth in net new accounts, volume, revenue, operating income, earnings, and free cash flow. We delivered these I just recorded a clip from watching my quarterly earnings call and I thought it'd be a good time to talk about stock options and compensation as a software engineer just because it's a topic I don't hear about that much on YouTube. So as a software engineer, normally just from my experience, this depends on the company, but if the company's public more often than not, you'll get your base salary. So that's just your monthly take home pay or your biweekly take home pay, whatever. And then there's an annual bonus as well. And that usually varies from five to 10% of your base pay but again it varies per company this is just from my experience but there's a, there's normally an annual bonus and that depends on your performance and usually the company's performance as well so if the company has a bad quarter or a bad year sometimes they're not required to pay it it just depends again on your contract and the last portion of your compensation is normally a stock bonus and that is um a set amount of stock that you get and it's normally over a certain period of time this is meant to encourage you to stay at the company longer so it's normally over four years so in four years time you'll get that entire stock bonus and then companies um it varies per company my company and the other offers i got they were all over four years so they give you x amount of stock over four years and there's normally a one year cliff. So what that means is you have to be at that company for a year. And at that year mark, you'll get 25% or a fourth of your stock bonus. And then every month thereafter, you get a percentage. And at the end of the four years, you'll have had 100% of that stock bonus. And then the stock bonus is paid out in stocks of that company. So for me, I get X amount of the company, of my company's stock. And so I'm very vested in my company's stock. I have enough of it to where it matters to me whether the price goes up or down and I like to be in the know about what, what's going on. Anyway, that was a lot, but thought I'd explain that because it's it's pretty interesting. I didn't know about any of this until I started working, so I'm gonna go get back to work. Literally so tempted to go outside and show you the sky again because look how beautiful but I have to get something done at work. Just ordered another 12 pack of these. Look at those colors. Also, this jar is from a boba place. You can choose to get a 24 ounce plastic cup or a 16 ounce glass jar for the same price. And I always get the glass jar and keep them. Hi y'all, you've made it to Thursday. And I think I actually, hold up, I gotta get my coffee. I think I might end this vlog here because I'm scared it's gonna be like 40 minutes long and nobody wants to watch that. So I gave you a good view of a few days as a software engineer. There was a good amount of detail about what I do on a day to day. There was some days where I, all I did was work, some days where I had more meetings, talked a little bit about my compensation package, and yeah, and that's a lot of detail there. Let me know if there's any particular videos you want me to make in the future. I am thinking of making some code with me videos, so thinking about making some more videos about like technical interview tips and stuff like that. I really enjoy making YouTube videos, it's like a fun hobby. Before making YouTube videos, I just spent most of my time in quarantine like watching YouTube videos and wasting my time on like Twitter and Instagram. So this has been a really awesome outlet and I really appreciate everyone for watching. So thank you so much for watching and yeah, hope you enjoy. Before I go, um, I'm gonna give you a desk tour just because I love my desk and I thought I'd share. And it's nothing fancy, but it's fun, so. So here's a general overview of what my desktop looks like. This is my monitor and this desk is pretty small so I can only have one monitor. So don't at me like oh, you're not a real programmer because you only have one monitor. Doesn't matter. Alan isn't shown by the tools and the IDE and the other things you have. But that's a whole nother rant that I could go on about. So let me just continue. I have these flowers from Ikea. This is also from Ikea. And this used to be a live air plant that I got from Trader Joe's, but I have killed it since. Um, which is very interesting because I have a 
note on my coaster thingy that says water the plants every Monday, but yet I still managed to kill all of my plants. That's all right. So here I have my coasters that I use for my desk. And then I have some miscellaneous stuff in the back of it that I like to keep organized and hidden back there. And then back here we have some pens. Yeah, I mainly only use these 0 0.38 Muji pens here. I keep for my work. Uh, any meeting notes I want to jot down, any to-do lists, this is all just for work. And then this is just a sticky note for anything less permanent. This is my personal to-do list. Actually, I'll show you yesterday's. I didn't cross anything off, but I did everything. This here is my personal journal. And I have this keyboard from Apple. Don't at me with the tech gear. Why don't I have the mechanical keyboard? All that good stuff. It doesn't matter. Your gear doesn't matter. It's your brain that matters. But yet again, I digress. I just have this Logitech Bluetooth mouse. Down here, I keep a wrist scarf for when my wrist hurts and I feel like a grandma every time I wear this but the struggle is real sometimes especially if I'm working from my laptop and then this is my work phone it's nicer than my actual phone but I don't use it for anything because my company can see my data I always have my water I'll only drink water if it's through a straw so I keep a straw I got these from Urban Outfitters these straws they came in a pack of like four or five and they're pretty cute and then here is my coffee so this is my drink station behind that we have this little area. Did you tell that pink is my favorite color? This is my hair, skin, and nails gummies. I keep these here because if I keep them in my cabinet, I won't remember to take them, so. And then over here, I have this little catch-all tray. Over here, I have this cute little station that I got from Amazon. I'll link it below. I like this one because I hook up all my own cords, so I know it's they're charging with Apple branded charging cords. And then back here we have my cute little lamp that I also got from Amazon. I can link that below too. I mean it does its lamp job. And then here I keep on the base of it, I keep this thing of seashells my little brother collected. That's it for my desk. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.